I feel like the Kitchen and Jorn show because this is like penalty box bad. Like this is so, like don't. Okay, hi everybody. Thanks for coming back if you've been here before or hi, welcome if you're new. My name's Mickey, I'm a therapist and we talk about therapisty things on this channel. Today, we're talking about something different. This video has taken me a while to make because when we initially workshopped this idea and I hatched this plan, I was like, oh, I'll test like buying products. And then as it turns out, there's like a lot of this type of stuff. And so for ease of making the video and also for uh, easy watching purposes, we are cutting this into different types or different like smaller videos and we're turning it into a series uh, where I'm gonna test and review different like therapy adjacent products. I just realized I'm not wearing my wedding ring. He'll make it now. I'm sorry. Please just go get me. This is awesome. I'm sorry. The easiest video we've ever. Please just go get my wedding ring. Thank you. One lava kick. Thank you. I'm going to put it over my swollen finger. Okay, you're hurting me. How romantic. We decided to cut this into smaller videos um, and we are making a series out of it where I'm going to test different therapy adjacent products. And today's video is about anxiety jewelry or like anxiety products um, that are like handheld little fidgety things. <laughs> what a title. I can't wait to put that in the thumbnail. The goal that I had when I selected the products for this video was to have things from three different price points um, so that we could test things that are accessible to different types of people are like sort of accessible at different income points. So the three products that we're testing today are these things. At the cheaper end of the spectrum, we have this thing, uh, which doesn't even have a fucking name. It's called the Spring Sleeping Instrument, but on Amazon, it's listed as Sleep Aid Brain Mat. I've rubbed the label off. Uh, on Amazon, it's listed as like an anxiety tool, a sleep tool, an attention tool, and also like an energizing thing um, that you like put in your hand and it's supposed to be like an energy thing. This is what mine looks like. I got purple. My husband keeps calling it a yoni egg. The second product that we tested is the Conquer Ring um, or Conquering, which is a little fidget ring. It looks like this. I'm gonna put some footage over the, the screen right now. Um, it's a little ring that the whole purpose is that you wear it as a little ring and that you also spin um, and it shows you a little picture, a little saying. It's very cute. You can click it in and out and get different, different little thingies to say different things. Um, and it's a fidget toy and also a piece of jewelry. The third thing that we tested is the Camuso Shift necklace, um, which looks like a little dog whistle. Um, <laughs> it's a necklace um, that... Uh, is actually like very weighty to be fair, um, but the purpose is that it's supposed to help you with deep breathing and lower your anxiety levels. So the prices of all three of these products, at the time that I purchased them, this little thing from Amazon was like $22 when I bought it on Amazon. Now it's like $38, I don't know what that's about, Amazon. The Conquering in total, because you have to buy it in two different pieces, the ring base and the little snappy thing, was $32. And the Camuso Shift deck necklace was $68. So I have some vlog footage for you guys. Um, I'm gonna show you guys me actually testing the products and using them and then we will come back here and unpack and talk about my thoughts and feels. Okay, bye. Okay, hello. Uh, today is Tuesday, February 8th. I am technically in day one of testing uh, the anxiety jewelry stuff. I was supposed to start using them yesterday uh, but yesterday was a weird day. I got served a cease and desist letter, um, so we were a little distracted. Uh, <laughs> but I decided, fuck it, I'm gonna start using them today. So far, I am finding that the shift necklace is about how I anticipated I would feel. It doesn't really affect anything. I actually have some footage of me using it. I will cut it in now. <laughs> it feels phallic. It does. Is it just me? No. <laughs> Great. It's ridiculous, but also it doesn't really feel that different than practicing like normal deep breathing. So I don't find it to be particularly useful. Um, the little ring though, this little conquer ring, surprisingly fun. I didn't anticipate that I would like this, but so far today I've gotten a lot of use out of it. It's just a fun thing to fidget with. Personally, I find it kind of heinous um, I think it's quite large 
on my finger and I'm not a jewelry person already. So like somatically, <laughs> it's not my favorite sensation to have this big clunky thing. So I don't really enjoy wearing it all that much. Ew, hold on, I have to take it off. But I do enjoy doing the little clicky thing. Listen, okay, now I can't get it to go. That's kind of fun, right? But yeah, I'll talk more about it later. But for now, it's like 4.30, it's the middle of the afternoon and I found it like mild to moderately useful. Talk later, okay, bye. Okay, hello. It is much later. I am going to migrate my dinner. I have been sitting in front of my computer for a very long time trying to get notes done um, and have found almost no use for the ring thing. Um, in the latter half of the day and the the shift necklace I have not touched at all. So um, Generally not a glowing review for Tuesday. I have yet to try the little like Palmy thing. I did read the instructions It says there are two modes one for excited mode and one for sleepy mode. I suppose we'll try both Where are the fucking instructions? Um We'll try both. I'm gonna try sleepy tonight because obviously I don't wanna be excited before I go to bed. So I'll try sleepy, which, um, oh, sorry. Sleepy has to be in your left hand, which is a bit of a drag and you have to hold it for 20 minutes. Um, I'll put a picture of the instructions on the screen. As far as I can tell, the one that I have from Amazon is like a rip off of a different product, I think. Um, but I can't find like a brain, brain name, a <laughs> brand name. So I'm gonna try that after I eat my dinner and then I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, bye. Okay, hello friends. Um, it is now 11.30. I have this thing that my husband keeps calling a yoni egg, which I find very inappropriate, but this is the like frequency thing that's supposed to be helpful for insomnia or like helpful for if you're sleepy. I just turned it on. I so regret that I turned this on off camera. Um, I'm watching the like first cut of the Encanto video um, and so I didn't turn the camera on because I was watching something. Um, this thing's fucking wild. This, if you have ever used a TENS unit, um, it feels like that, except it's like super strong. Um, I turned it all the way up because I was like, surely this is hogwash. You know, surely this is like pseudoscience and this is not going to do anything. I'm not gonna feel anything. Um, and it shocked the piss out of my hands. <laughs> so we turned it all the way down, but I'm gonna put it in my left stupid hand and then watch this. Um, I have about 20 minutes of this video left, so I'm gonna do that for 20 minutes. Um, and then we'll see what happens, so. Okay, we'll turn it up one. We're turning it up by one. Okay. Oh my God. If I lose feeling in my hand, I'm suing. I'm almost gonna sue. Okay, hello friends. Final update for tonight, it's now midnight and I, I'm not gonna go to bed, but I um, wanna be done filming. I use the thing for 20 minutes and my hand's tingly now, a little bit numb. Granted, I have like weird nerve issues in my hand, so maybe I'm not the best person to be fucking testing this product, but I didn't find it soothing. So, um, jury's out on that. I'll let you guys know how I sleep um, and I will check in tomorrow. Okay, bye. Good morning, everyone. Today is February 9th and it is 10.34. Uh, as it turns out, I actually, like I slept fine, I guess, but today's a very bad chronic pain day. Um, I feel like shit, so um, I could not have slept <laughs> that good. Anytime I have like weird sleep stuff, I wake up in a lot of pain, and so that's what happened today. So, um, not a big fan of this Thing. And also it just feels like a TENS unit, honestly. It doesn't feel like there's any kind of life-changing technology in here. It feels like they stuck a little tiny TENS unit in here to sort of create this feeling that something is happening without actually creating any kind of meaningful effect. So not a big fan of that. Um, I have a video meeting this morning um, or like a video thing that's pretty long. So um, I'll probably be using my little fidgety ring. I wanted to mention too, the other beef that I have with this shift necklace is that it's the most awkward and inconvenient things to use. Um, like this, I can sort of play with and like fuck around with and people can't really tell that that's what I'm doing. But this, like I can't just in the middle of a session. That's not very 
incognito, you know? Um, and so it just limits the usability of it, in my opinion, because it's like pretty obvious and also like a pretty awkward movement, like a pretty awkward sensation. So not my fave for that reason, but I am gonna go to my video conference and then I will check back in later. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, bye. Okay, hello friends. It is much later. I <laughs> don't know when the last time I checked in, but it is now Thursday. I don't know what fucking day it is. It is Thursday. Today's Thursday, February 10th. I have been very busy all day um, and have not used my little anxiety things. I do find the ring useful at work, but outside of that, I don't find myself reaching for it because I just truly dislike the sensation of having it on my hand. Um, and so I'm not like carrying it with me or like taking it with me places. So if it's not sitting on my desk, I'm not using it. The shift necklace I have really struggled to use <laughs> because I just don't like it. Like from a sensation point of view, I don't like the feeling of it in my mouth. Um, it tastes bad, it's very heavy. It feels like it's gonna fall out of my mouth. It also just feels honestly like more difficult to breathe. And so I just have found myself feeling very reluctant to use it, but I have some free time. Um, I have like kind of finished all of my like chores for today, my like to-do list. And before I sit down and fuck off and play video games, I have some reading that I need to do. So I'm gonna go sit in my cozy little corner. Look how cute. I'm gonna go sit in my cozy little corner and read my book um, and try and use them a little bit and see if that kind of improves my mood and like just see how that generally affects me. So I'm gonna set up a little time lapse and uh, we'll talk about it after. Okay. Okay, hello friends. I'm bad at vlogging. It's now February 11th and it's like 7 p.m. Um, I haven't checked in since like this time yesterday because I got distracted. Um, I did find the little ring thing useful while I was reading. I'm so surprised because I kind of, I'm not gonna lie to you, I kind of went into this video with the feeling that I wasn't going to like any of these products. I still don't like the shift necklace, but I am finding the ring to be kind of useful. Not necessarily as jewelry and not particularly in the goal of reducing my anxiety per se, um, but I find it very useful as like a fidget thing. It tends to satisfy the urge to have something to do with my fingers. And other than like a couple sensory things, um, which are like specific to me, I really, I think it's actually like fairly useful. But yeah, the shift necklace, I just have a really hard time getting behind. Honestly, I have this little like aromatherapy, what is this called? Aromatherapy inhaler, this thing, that you just open and it has like all of these little things in it. And then if you look at the top, there's just like cotton balls and like a little grate. But if you sniff it, it smells so good. And I find this honestly a much more useful tool for facilitating um, deep breathing and like breathing exercises than I do the shift necklace. I just, I don't know if I'll ever get behind the idea of wearing a piece of jewelry that's both heavy and from a sensory perspective, not like my fave um, to help me with deep breathing. It just, it's not for me. This thing, I haven't used it since the first night because it's just like, it's a TENS unit. It's a tiny TENS unit and it isn't particularly helpful. I noticed almost no change. Um, I am gonna try it a couple more times before this video wraps, but that's where we're at right now. I'm not finding it particularly <laughs> useful for the time being. That's it. Okay, hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, thanks for putting up with my bad vlogging. I'm really bad at remembering to pick up the camera, so my apologies. Um, let's unpack my thoughts. You guys saw that I had a hard time with actually picking up the things and using them throughout the day. Um, the whole perk of this is that it's supposed to be wearable things, like even this little purple guy has a wrist strap so that in theory, you can like have this around, but who on God's green earth is like- It's like a Neopet. No, <laughs> no one. 
one is doing this. The other issue that I had with the Camuso shift necklace is that despite the fact that it was $68, this actual necklace part of it is not very nice. It's a little pinchy um, and it, the chain of it doesn't feel like very nice quality and I have a sneaking suspicion that it would turn my neck green in a hurry if I was to actually wear it. So despite the fact that I'm not a necklace person and I don't like wearing necklaces, I also just didn't find myself motivated to slap this thing around my neck. Um, so it kind of defeated the purpose of the wearable aspect of this also. I talked a little bit about the conquering um, and how personally for me, I just found like the sensory experience of putting it on my actual finger uncomfy because the little disc is quite large. It's quite large on my finger. So if you're a person who's at all sensitive to jewelry, might not be for you. Um, but if you don't care, then I think this honestly probably is like the winner of this video. Congratulations, Conquering, because not only was this cheap, it's very fun to play with and it's easy. Like I also found myself tucking this in my pocket or putting it in my backpack. Um, it's the easiest to use. It's the easiest to transport places. It's not gross or like icky from a sensory perspective. And it tended to be the most effective in my opinion. However, I have some caveats. Um, it would not be a like video on this channel if we didn't talk about research um, and unpack a little bit of the you know underlying data and literature about what you know is going on uh, on a psychological level with these types of products. Um, we know that deep breathing, especially, uh, is a very useful way to cope with and deal with anxiety. And so I was actually the most hopeful for the shift necklace because I was like, okay, this is based in, in evidence-based practice and research. But honestly, it was like the most clunky of the three products because it actually, in my opinion, impeded my ability to deep breathe. I honestly would, it would really encourage anyone who has considered buying the shift necklace or any of its like derivatives. There's lots of different types of them out there to just take up some deep breathing exercises. There's lots of them available for free on the internet. You can ask any therapist or life coach about them. These exercises are a dime a dozen. They're very easy to find. And you are far and away going to be better off than spending $68 Roonies um, on a very <laughs> expensive and heavy necklace that realistically is not gonna provide you with much benefit. If you are a person who like really feels called to the idea of buying it, then like go off, you can do whatever you want. But in my opinion, I think the purpose of the necklace itself was just kind of lost on me because you can achieve the same if not better results by doing something that's free. As far as the fidgeting goes with the conquering, we do actually have research to support the usefulness of fidgeting as a means to cope with anxiety, but this comes with a really big caveat. We've talked on this channel before about coping skills and coping strategies um, and the difference between coping strategies and like the meaningful processing um, underlying work that gets done in therapy. And I would really encourage people to honor that when we talk about something like the conquering. Is it a useful way to to remind you of your coping strategies, that word didn't want to come out of my mouth, coping strategies, and to have kind of that like peace of mind that there's a thing in your back pocket to help you make it through the day. Sure, yeah, I think so. But is this a fix all or a cure all for anxiety generally? Absolutely fucking not. I really want to encourage people if you're experiencing clinical levels of anxiety, if you have an anxiety diagnosis, don't be the person who's like, I have a conquering. I don't need to go to therapy. <laughs> I don't know that this is going to be the thing. Again, I found it relatively useful. Initially, I was like very resistant to the idea of using it. And so um, over the time that I used it, I, I grew to like it more and more, but I still don't think it's this you know, fix all miracle product for people with anxiety or ADHD or any other thing that causes you to find a need for fidgeting generally. As far as this fucking thing goes, I really want to discourage people from purchasing this. Like I feel like the Kitchen and Jorn show because this is like penalty box bad. Like this is so like, don't, please don't buy this <laughs> because it, <laughs> it is a useful thing to play with and touch. Like I found myself touching it a lot while I was sitting on my desk, but like also I fidget with the tape measure that's on my desk and like the pens and pencils that are on my desk. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know that it's this specifically that was providing me any use. And I also just have misgivings about whatever device is on the inside of this that's not disclosed, that's not clearly labeled, that is creating like what feels to me like a TENS unit. If you don't know what a TENS unit is, please allow me to 
explain the acronym to you. So it, <laughs> a TENS unit stands for Transcutaneous Electronic Nerve Stimulation, or TENS. Um, it's a common device for people with chronic pain to use uh, or uh, in physical therapy to use that essentially stimulates your nerves. I don't really understand the science behind it. I'll link some things in the description and put a little picture of one up on the screen in case you've ever seen one before. Um, but it creates these little pulses of electricity. You've probably seen people using them when they make videos about um, putting little patches on men's stomachs um, and like genital areas um, when they mimic labor pains and things like that. That's what a TENS unit is. This to me felt very similar to a TENS unit, like a very mild TENS unit, um, unless you turn it up all the way and it shocks the fuck out of your fucking hand um, <laughs> inside this thing and this little like circle jobby is the thing <laughs> that like you know, pulsates into your hand. It didn't affect my sleep quality. It didn't make me more awake. It didn't make me less anxious. It didn't make me less neurodivergent. It just shocked the piss out of my hand. Or if you turned it down to an appropriate level, it made my hand kind of like tingly. And that was about it. But again, I really want to caution people against buying things like this because I don't know what's in it. I can't vouch for whether this is safe or not. And something like the conquering and even the shift necklace for as much as I didn't find it useful, it's not going to hurt you as far as I'm aware. It's something that is at best ineffective um, and a waste of money, but it's not going to actively harm you. This, in my opinion, has the potential to actually hurt people, especially if you give this to a little kid and this is turned up all the way, this is potentially very hurtful. So I would really encourage people to be mindful and be careful of that. All in all, as a takeaway from this video, I really want to encourage people to be wary of products like this on the internet because a lot of the marketing is aimed at people who are desperate and who are overwhelmed and feel like they're drowning in mental illness and are like struggling to gain access to therapy and things like that. Um, I very much want to validate how real that is and how frustrating that is. We've talked about that a lot on this channel before, but products like these use that feeling that you're experiencing to try and sell you a product with the hope that it will be a transformative experience. And oftentimes it's not. It may provide you some level of use, but I am very doubtful that it is going to be the thing that transforms you from mentally ill to uh, you know, perfectly healthy and okay overnight. Oftentimes a lot of that work is done in therapy or with really conscious self-reflection and in the company of safe people. And so if you find these products useful to you and you are a person who has the means to purchase them, have at it, do whatever you want. But I really want to continue to make these videos to help like illuminate what's useful, what's not, what's safe and what's not, and to help people avoid this trap of buying thing after thing after thing in the hopes that you'll like fix yourself because A, you're not a thing to be fixed and B, there are lots of useful and actionable items out there that can help you achieve that feeling of peace and stability that aren't necessarily like quick fix products like this. If you guys like this video, if you found this fun or interesting, let me know. Um, like I said, if you guys have recommendations for more products, please put them in the comments. I have lots of other things. Y'all, I have spent so much money on products and things. <laughs> I promise more of these videos are coming. We're trying lots of different stuff. And so I'm very excited to share all of that with you, but let me know what your thoughts, feelings, and suggestions are in the comments. And then if you like the video, like the video, leave it a thumbs up because that lets me know that you guys want to see more of this. Um, my cat is trying to break into the room. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this and share the video to help the channel grow and to help each other grow. And I will see you guys next Saturday. Okay, bye. <laughs> Echelon, we're almost done.